I'm A.B. Fisher from McDonald, Kansas. I'm a farmer out here, kind of retired and then unretired. I couldn't handle the tear. But anyway, I, we kind of got into this wind energy. I got a, got a chance to do this, and I, I think it might be a good economical thing for, for crops to, to have around the irrigation wells. And, and uh, but I wanted to start kind of small to see if this thing's going to work like I think. And that's why we put them here at our farmsteads to start with. Now the power company will only let you put a 25 kW kilowatt uh, windmill on a farm like this. But you can put a 100 kilowatt on a place where there's like a storage where, where you can where you need 480 and 3 phase and that kind of a lot more demand and so this close one here is a 25 kW for our house home here and the other one for the headquarters there is a, a 100 kilowatt and more than anything the motive was to to try to get this to where we could create our own energy and uh, all our irrigation wells are electric and so that would be a, a good deal if we can if we can get them all on there but uh, how's it working out for you so far it's just working out well we haven't had them up long enough to really tell the economic thing yet they've mm -hmm. only been going about a month okay or a little over maybe but but uh, if they do work well then then it'll it could be a big boom for the for the irrigation deal for uh, for farmers provided there's a little help like on grants and tax incentives and things like that to help a person afford to put them up and uh, it's going to kind of hinge on that uh, the government the state and, and federal governments they need to help a little bit if if they expect it to go to any extent i think okay. but uh, i wanted to kind of get where our family could be uh, the, the farm to be self-sufficient as, as we can get it. That, that was really the main motive to do this.